So good morning guys, it's Thursday now and we've gone ahead and had breakfast and now we are currently packing to go away for this weekend. So if we just quickly come upstairs in our freshly cleaned rooms. Morning. Here is Amy currently packing to go away with her dubious piles of washing. What are you doing right now? Um, I'm working out how many casual outfits we need and how many smart outfits we need. Okay. So that I can make sure we've got all the right stuff packed. Okay, that makes sense. I'm writing up a list of what we've got and what we haven't got. Oh. But the point we're at is I think we need seven casual outfits and two smart outfits each. Blimey. Okay. But we're going to start with And this. we have a lot of parts of clothes around and that much space to fit into. We can do it. Yeah. We don't need all of these clothes, like... Oh no, no we don't. <laughs> but more is better, or whatever the phrase is. I don't know. Um, we currently have two fans going off because it is boiling in here. It's so hot. The windows don't open, so like... Yeah, the, the windows... Although they open, they're not very good, are they? They're broken, basically. Like, if you open them, they fall kind of down. Yeah. As if they're going to, like just plummet to the floor below Oof. so smash we, we don't mess with those no. so we purchase some fans instead yeah which weren't too bad they were quite yeah. inexpensive they, they work okay so that's all that matters yeah but yeah so we're packing so we're gonna finish packing now and then hopefully we'll show you the end result once this is all done bye bye hey guys so we're back now um the packing's now fully finished, so I'll quickly show you that. So this is currently what our suitcase looks like. It is completely full of clothes. How do you feel? Um, exhausted. Yeah? Yeah. H how many clothes have gone into that suitcase? Um, we have a grand total of nine outfits each, two pairs of shoes and pyjamas and wash stuff. Exactly, all in that small little suitcase. And how long are we actually going away for? We're going for nine days. Exactly. But we also have more pairs of shoes that we can't fit in, so we're going to have to wear like like these types of shoes to travel in. Yeah. Because they don't fit in our suitcase. Which will be great because where they're smart shoes, they're just going to clunk everywhere. And they're going to make our feet hot in this weather. Yeah, Calm definitely, down. definitely. Oh, um, while. While Amy was packing all of that with her list, I've been sat over here editing um, the Wednesday's vlog um, just to put in. So, staying on track. Yeah. What is the plan for the rest of the day? Um, we are going to grab some drinks because it's really hot. Yep. And then probably chill for a little bit because I've got pretty bad stomach pain. Okay. Um, and then... I don't know, depending on how I feel, and maybe go for a little walk yeah. later. Maybe. Hopefully the weather dies we'll down a bit. We need to do some cleaning downstairs, so we might do that as well. Yeah. That's all good. Yeah, so, yeah. okay, well, that's that then. And um, we'll just uh, we'll just let you know once, once everything's sorted, and hopefully tune in a bit later on. Awesome. Bye. Chummy, you say hi. Hello. Turn. Right now I'm just doing some editing for Wednesday's part of our vlog. So that looks that looks good. It does. What's, uh, what's your plans while I edit? Um, I'm going to show the peeps around the house real quick so that they know where we are. Okay. And then I'm going to go run a bubble bath. Oof, that'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, because I want to use my bath bomb. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, so this is our living room. That's Jeremy Kyle. Well, not that woman, but yeah. This is my frog, and he goes in the microwave because he's warm. My phone, and our little snack pile, also known as my snack pile. The professional editor in his pyjamas because he still hasn't got dressed. Our secret stash of junk that's between the sofas and the other sofa. And this, which was made by Victoria. She, like, carved it into, like... A tree and then it's down there and this ugly rug 
that's the face of happiness. Go down the hallway. This is our kitchen. This is our housemate's pile of dishes. And that's our dishes down there. And our taps always leaking, that's why it's like running. But um yeah, so we've got all of this. And then you can see out there is the garden where we were yesterday. And there's where we were sat having our, our barbecue that we need to clean up. Um so then you go this way and we go up the stairs. Up here. Boop, boop, boop. And then there's like a little it's like a corner here. And then we've got you get to the top. This one is Brandon's, this one's mine, that one's Omar's, and that's the bathroom. So I'll show you mine first. It, my room is kind of like our storage room and like guest room if we have someone to come and stay like my sister. So, um, and over here, it's really tiny. So like, this is the whole room. You can like almost touch the walls like each side. Sorry. Um, okay, in here, is Brandon's bedroom with my duvet, his duvet, because we argue a lot. Um, my cushions are those ones, and then his are all of these. Like This one is my big fro cushion, and those are the ones that are regular ones. Those are his. Um, he has unicorn bedding that I picked. <laughs> Dirty laundry and rubbish, because we've been doing a clean out today. Um, both of our fans, because it's boiling. We tend to put like one on this chair and one on this chair, so that they're like pointing it as whilst we're in bed. Um, a lot of junk because he's not very good at tidying up. Um, there's this. <laughs> you might want to see. Um, it has our names on and the date we met, which was my Christmas present to him a couple of years ago. Um, more bath towels that we need to sort. Errors to dry our clothes. More of a view of the garden. And then here's back to the hallway. So there's my room again. Stairs. And then if you go along the hallway, this room is Omar's room. So I can't take you in there, obviously. This is our bathroom, um, toilet obviously, and like cleaning supplies are down there. Um, Febreze, towel rail with no towel on, because I haven't put a new hand towel in here. Um, toilet roll, toilet roll holder. This is our shower curtain. Um, it has astronaut cats all over it. I chose that, so <laughs> that's why. What else can I show you? Not very much, I don't think. I'll take you back into my room. So yes, that is what our house looks like that we're living in right now. We were going to do like a whole separate video of it for like on Wednesday, but we changed our mind because we we're kind of rushing around quite a bit this week. We've got like quite a lot going on. We've got um, tomorrow our landlord wants to come and do a viewing between like 11 and 12. Um, what else is going on tomorrow? Oh, we've got, like, I think we wanted to just sit down and play some games and like spend some time together properly. And we need to make sure obviously all the house is tidy before we go away and then we don't vlog on the weekends. So I kind of want to just show you around. Um, and obviously on Sunday we're... What fell over? It was the bag. Um, on Sunday we are travelling up to Victoria's. So we might... We might start next week's vlog on Sunday, we're out for the Monday, but we'll see. And then that'll go through till next Friday, so it just kind of keeps going. But yeah, so we just wanted to show you the house real quick. Well, I did, Brandon didn't really care. But I'll take you, I'll take you back down to him. Hi. Hi, how's the editing going, chum? Uh, it's going pretty well, actually. It's detecting the faces on your trousers as faces. Is it? Yeah, it's like going crazy. Oh, and that's what you get for getting face detection. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we're now at this part where his face is like smiling. In McDonald's. We're, si we're still on our little trip out from yesterday <sighs> that yes. you guys will have already seen by now. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go run a bubble bath, so I'll show you guys that when I put the bath on them. Okay. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Okay, hi guys. I'm sorry, it's gonna be like really echoey. This is a bath mat. Um, I'm just running a bath but I wanted to show you this purple and orange bath bomb. It's not from Lush, it's from a store in our local market, which I'll, I'll link to Facebook below if I can work out how. Um, 
But yeah, it's supposed to smell like chocolate oranges. But I wanted to show you before I popped it in, which I'm going to do in a minute. So, what I'll do. Mm, actually, I might pop it in now. So, ready? But yeah, so I'm gonna look at the result and I'll show you how colourful it gets before I jump in the water. Okay, so this is the finished colour of my bath. You can just about see the duckies from there. But it's that orange. Okay, I'm gonna go so I can absorb the water. Hi guys, I'm back. Now that Amy's finished recording for the day, I have just completed the full render of our vlog so that's that just exported and being turned into a video how are you today i'm good we're gonna go make some dinner i think yeah and what? film our new scheduling video yeah what's Ready? for dinner um a spaghetti carbonara yeah with with extra pancetta yeah I am going to go make the spaghetti carbonara for that one over there, wherever she is. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll just give you an update once I have finished uh, finished cooking that. Hello. We are cooking dinner. Well, I'm not. Brandon is because I'm not a cook. This is our meal plan. So, actually, today is Thursday the 6th, and it says we're having sausages and rice, but we kind of have changed everything around a little bit. So I actually need to edit. What we did was like, we had this meal here, but we had the rice with it, so the crinkle fries are going with the sausages. Had a barbecue yesterday. We didn't really fancy to have sausages and fries today. So we went and was like, oh, Saturday, we could have carbonara. So we're just gonna have that. And what we do normally, we just haven't done it this week because we forgot. We normally cross them off, but someone has stolen my pen. I had a pen that sticks to the fridge and it's gone. But um, we normally just cross them off so we know which one we're eating rather than eating them like by the day but this is just to kind of keep us on track with our budget and organized. And it also comes with, like it's, um, let's see, it's like a magnetic one. So it just sticks onto the side of the fridge like that. And it comes with a shopping list that has like um, the dotted lines to rip it off. So you can just write down when you use up stuff and take it away with you to the store. Yeah. So over here, we've got our spaghetti on the hob. Sometimes it burns a bit because it's got like a fire hob and we're not very good at getting it right. But, um, ouch. Don't, don't bit, touch it. I'm not very good at cooking. But there, it's in there, you see? Bubbling. Well, not bubbling yet, but it's gonna be. You can, it's kind of got little bubbles in the bottom. You can't really tell though. Um, yeah, I'll tune back in in a minute when we have got some more exciting stuff going on. Say bye. Bye. Okay, we're back. The spaghetti's going soft now, so you can see it turns the water a bit cloudy, but that's just what spaghetti does. And we have these um, plastic tongs to like squidge the spaghetti in. Yes. Because spaghetti is quite long, you have to like bend it in. There we go. There we go, all in. And you can see like this hobby is a bit dodgy. You can see every now and again it like flickers like fire out. Oh, I won't do it now, of course, because I'm showing you, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, sometimes you just like see a little bit of a fire like come up the side, it's a bit creepy. But. Yeah, so just gotta wait for the water to boil, get the spaghetti cooking, and then halfway through that, I'll uh, I'll start frying the pancetta. Yeah, we'll tune back in once the spaghetti is boiling. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, it's boiling. It nearly overboiled, so we had to turn it down. So like, see, there's like a little tiny fire. Should be a bit. Oh, maybe not that much. That much fire. See, it's boiling now, probably. Um, Brandon's gone to the bathroom, so I'm in charge. Okay. Poke it with the tongs, because that's a good idea. And I am back. He's back just in time to save the day because I very nearly overboiled the spaghetti. But yeah, you put it in the pan and fry it, you see. But I'm going to let him concentrate now and we'll show you the finished product. Say bye. Okay, this is cooked. 
the spaghetti is getting served. Then we add a bit of the cheese on, on top. That is dinner served for tonight, made by me, and hopefully it won't kill us. Okay, and so tell, tell the peeps, what's the plan for the rest of the night? For the rest of the night we will be eating dinner, watching Love Island, and hopefully uploading a video. Say goodnight because we're just going to have a chat out evening and not much else is going to go on. Yeah, that's probably uh, probably best. So we'll say goodnight now and hopefully we'll see you in the morning.